Hey guys, Reef Spy here. This is going to be an interesting video, I think. I just noticed something unusual in my reef tank, which I have never seen before. So I have my camera focused on my purple torch cor coral. And this thing has been doing okay, but you know, you could see down, uh, if I get my finger in there, down here below, uh, one of the heads had receded and gone away, and I figured maybe it just wasn't getting enough light. And then, you know, this other one on the other side, uh, you know, wasn't doing the best, but the top one was doing, you know, really good. So I just figured, you know, maybe the lighting, I don't know. But anyway, look on the base of this torch coral. Do you see that thing there? That is not part of my torch coral. That is some sort of a flatworm, a giant flatworm that I have never seen before in here. Now I've had the little, you know, the small red planaria, uh, which other than me knowing that they are there, haven't really posed much of a problem. But that thing there is another type of flatworm which I've never seen before. And I was really surprised to see it today. And I wasn't sure if that was just, you know, maybe some coralline algae or something. I, I don't know. It kind of looks like that. And I poked it and it moved. So what I'm going to do is prepare a dip. And I want to pull this torch out and dip it and see if I can remove that thing and maybe get a closer look at it and see what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up now. And then we're going to go hunting for this flatworm. So be right back. So I've taken a bucket of tank water and I'm going to try this uh, reef primer from Polyp Lab, which is a pretty good coral dip. I've seen this remove all sorts of things from new frags that I have. And I typically do uh, dip all of my frags. So I am surprised to see that thing. And like I said, I mean, I've ha had those, you know, torches and euphelias for quite some time. And I don't know if it came with them, how long it's been in my tank. I don't know, but I think dipping it with this, um, you know, should get it to release from that frag. So let's find out. All right, so luckily this torch was on its own uh, piece of live rock here. So I'm gonna dip this whole thing. Um, we'll probably see plenty of little starfish uh, jumping out of this rock and who knows what else, but let's go ahead and put it in and find out. And I don't see that worm on here. Oh, wait, it is there. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that before we dip it. Does anybody know what this thing is? I mean, it definitely is alive. Let's see if we can poke it. Will it move? Well, it's definitely really slimy. And look at the size of that thing. That is huge. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea if that's been munching on my coral, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the bucket and we'll give it a stir and find out what comes off. All right, let me readjust the camera here. All right, so we can see lots of little starfish in this live rock you can see their arms coming out there unfortunately I'm going to have to suffer through this process but i'm just using my turkey baster to see if i can dislodge that thing off of the base i don't know if you could see it Trying not to damage the torch. Which is difficult. I probably should have gotten a bigger bucket. Oh, he's coming off. I don't know if you can see that. My hand's in the way. Come 
won't get off at every lease. Oh, I caught him. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Just adjusting the tripod here. That is the largest flatworm I've ever seen. Where it came from, I have no idea. But there it is. If anybody knows what that is, please let me know. I'd love to know. And I'd love to know if I have more of them in my tank. Um, like I said, this is the only one I've ever seen. Don't know if this is good. Don't know if it is bad. But there it is. So, uh, yeah, if you know what this is, drop me a comment and or any ideas. Uh, let me know, and let's try and figure this out. Thanks for watching, guys. So just a quick update. I have decided until I figure out what this is, I'll hang on to it. So he's sitting in the frag tank and until I determine what it is and if it's good or bad or what. I'll have them in here where I can keep a better eye on it until we figure things out. If I can get that to focus. Yeah, so there it is. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching.